In this video, I will explain you the settings to be done in the database to work with VAT functionality. To have the tax module available, enable the VAT accounting functionality from Administration, General Settings. Once enabled, it helps you to define tax types and tax rates, calculate tax for all transactions wherever applicable, generate the required tax reports, and pay the collected tax amount to the tax authority. This option cannot be disabled if there are documents posted in the database. Other features related to VAT will appear below once you enable VAT functionality. For output VAT transaction method, choose the relevant option from the drop-down. It means how you would like to record the output VAT in GL journal entry. Choose Exclude from Revenue to record the revenue excluding VAT. Or choose the option Include in Revenue if you would like to include the revenue with VAT. With this option, VAT will be deducted from revenue in another transaction and will be posted to output VAT account. Enable the feature Keep VAT Accounting by Emirates if the company operates in UAE, as each company in UAE must report all the VAT-related data per Emirate. Deselect this option if the company operates in another country. Select Tourist Tax Refund to record transaction of refund made to tourists. Please refer the video How to Record Tourist Tax Refunds for further details. Select the option Advanced VAT Calculation to record VAT separately for the supplies that are exempt from VAT and supplies that are subject to VAT. Enable Other Tax Accounting to allow you to recognize payables and recoverable tax. This document is for manual tax accounting of other taxes, excluding VAT. Once the general settings are done, you will need to enable the settings for the entities, companies, and item. Let's start with an entity. I will explain you from a pre-populated database for better understanding. Go to Accounting Module, open Entities from the Master Data. You'll find the list of entities over here. Open the entity where you would like to enable the settings. Go to Tax Accounting tab. Enable the option VAT Taxpayer checkbox and fill in all the fields available. At the start month in the Apply From box, it is the month and the year from when the entity will keep the accounting records for VAT. Add the TRN, that is the tax registered number assigned by the tax authority. Select the country of registration from the drop down. In the default values, add the VAT rate. This rate will appear in the documents by default in case there is no default rate specified for the items or item group. Add the default Emirate. Go to Administration, go to General Settings, and make sure the VAT Accounting by Emirates is enabled. Go back to the Entity Details and choose the default Emirate. Enable the option Price Include VAT checkbox if prices used by this entity includes VAT. This option will be used as a default option for sales document if no price type is specified. Click on Save or Save and Close to save the changes. Once Entity VAT settings are done, you can add default VAT rate per item. System will pick the rate in the documents automatically when the item is added. Let me show you an example. Go to Item Master Data from Purchase or Sales module. Open any existing item. Go to Accounting Parameters tab and add the VAT rate. Click on Save or Save and Close to save the changes. Once the entity and item VAT settings are done, we'll move to company-based VAT settings. Go to Sales or Purchase module, open Companies from the Master Data. Select the company for which you would like to enable the VAT Payer setting. Choose the company, go to Tax Accounting tab, enable the VAT Tax Payer option. Add the details in the fields available. That is the TRA number of the company. Enable the option Price Including VAT if the prices provided to them includes VAT. Once done, click on Save or Save and Close to save the changes. Thank you for watching the video.